Yeah, so before diving into the project, um, just a quick note of how, how I got here. Basically, um, first day of, of Launchpad was actually my first day of Protocol Labs. So a ton of onboarding, ton of learning. Um, got to meet with my mentor, scheduled a bunch of one-on-ones, and through all of those sessions and um, resources, basically started to learn that the SP side of the organization is something that is super interesting. Um, lots of exciting work happening there. Um, and so just through all of that, ended up getting my first project and that project ended up being something that was uh, a pretty big ongoing piece of work that was relatively time sensitive. Um, so that that was kind of where my focus ended up um, heading for the rest of the, the last three weeks of the Launchpad program. So yeah, ceiling and service, the goal is to accelerate onboarding for new storage capacity um, and basically help facilitate onboarding new SPs as well. Um, so there's a, a multi-pronged approach here. Um, today, we're going to focus on ceiling with a color provider and ceiling with a cloud provider, although there are some other uh, more long-term strategies that are, are in place. Um, and then if you want to learn more, there's this Notion page that's linked out um, that has all the different ways that we're approaching this. So the first question is, um, is ceiling with a color provider a viable option for accelerating uh, storage provider ceiling capacity? Um, and so what we did is we basically mapped out the SP ROI um, from ceiling off-premise and compared it to ceiling on-premise and, and walked storage providers through this with a color provider as well um, and tried to see if this would make sense both through the configurations that are offered by a color provider and through the pricing that's offered by a color provider. Um, and so what we learned was basically that the configurations that are offered through color providers could work for ceiling um, as a service and that the pricing actually did match up. Um, another thing that was interesting that came out of this conversation was that the uh, conversations with larger SPs turned into a conversation about them wanting to contribute and them being able to offer ceiling as a service to smaller SPs as well. So out of these conversations, we have now a um, colo provider that has a proposal that's in review. Um, and then we're also going to be discussing potentially um, launching a pilot with uh, larger SPs that are interested in contributing to uh, ceiling for smaller SPs. Um, we're heading to South by Southwest at the beginning of next week to have a couple of storage provider meetups. And it's possible that um, one of the topics of this is going to be ceiling as a service. So on the other side of things, um, cloud provider ceiling. Uh, while we're working on figuring out the color provider ceiling service, we're also working on um, other initiatives in parallel that are all related to ceiling off-premise. Um, the other one is, is, would a cloud provider like Google be able to um, provide this, this ceiling offering? Um, so we, we basically wanted to collect all these different configurations from um, storage providers and Google sales reps to see if there were certain configurations that would work for ceiling off-premise with um, something like GCP and found out that there are certain um, configurations that, that match up. Um, and then we basically wanted to look at colo provider versus uh, storage for, versus on-premise storage provider versus off-premise um, cloud provider and look match up the SPROIs against um, all those different ways of ceiling and try to figure out, is this a, a viable option as well? Basically, what we found out was through talking to a bunch of SPs, through uh, talking to Google um, and just trying to get this all uh, sorted out and, and kind of mapped out together, we found out that really we're going to need a custom um, hardware. Uh, the CPU that they offer essentially provides too many cores. Um, and for the amount of memory that they provide, we don't need all those cores and more cores means more expensive. Um, and then the other pieces, the GPUs, uh, the Google G GPUs are basically all these Tesla GPUs that are brand new. Um, they're not really cost effective and the storage providers that are providing ceiling service can actually use older, uh, more basic new GPUs. Um, and so the newer Tesla GPUs aren't necessarily going to be um, needed or cost effective. Uh, so we need to talk to them about that. We also want to have uh, some questions around egress cost. How much is it going to cost to actually move this data that's being sealed with Google off-premise um, is a big question. And then overall, um, there just needs to be uh, some conversations around um, maybe bulk discount pricing.
So as far as demand goes, um, we've been getting qualitative data through um, conversations with SPs and then quantitative data through um, reaching out to people through Twitter, through Slack, um, through our newsletter and getting information about, um, you know, what would they like to see? What would SPs like to see um, in terms of uh, desired sealing capacity, desired time to seal, um, target sealing rate, and any other metrics that could be useful for getting this uh, potentially off the ground. So as a summary, uh, basically the conversations with the colo provider and SPs uh, have given us this painted this picture that the configuration and pricing is actually within um, reason and, and possible uh, to do in terms of sealing with a colo provider. Um, there is a potential of running this new pilot that we didn't even uh, necessarily consider with large SPs providing uh, sealing for smaller SPs. Um, we're prepared to meet with Google and let them know that we're gonna need custom hardware requirements um, and, and talk about pricing if there's a match there. And then we do wanna to continue to gather additional demand data um, and discuss technical requirements because um, I think Lotus requirements are gonna be a big one as well.